Country music's longtime power couple Faith Hill and Tim McGraw have some great taste in properties. Not only did they build their current dream home from the ground up in Nashville, Tennessee, they also own their very own island in the Bahamas, boasting a main mansion, eight separate pavilions, beaches, and more, which they recently sold for a reported $35 million. Today, we're gonna check out some of the star couple's properties, past and present. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. It's no doubt that Faith Hill and Tim McGraw have one of the most iconic relationships in the music industry. And since being married in 1996 and having three daughters together, they're still going strong. Both Faith and Tim are award-winning country music singers as well as record producers. Talk about a match made in heaven. The pair first met at a gig in Nashville in 1994, but at the time they were seeing other people. Two years later, Faith joined Tim on tour and sparks began to fly. These days, the two share an impressive net worth of $165 million or more, as well as some beautiful mansions. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment and today we are looking at the estates of Faith Hill and Tim McGraw. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and follow me over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In February 2021, Faith and Tim sold a property which took them years of work and tons of money to construct, their private island in the Bahamas. The couple purchased the island called L'Ile d'Ange in 2003 and listed it for $35 million last year, but the final selling price wasn't revealed. It ended up being far more complicated than Faith and Tim originally thought to build an island since there were no existing structures there except a small shack. Before they could build their dream vacation home, they needed to construct housing for the construction staff as well as water and electrical access. Therefore, the home wasn't complete until 2012. The 20 acre island had almost 1.3 miles of waterfront, included two beachfront cottages, a private dock, three staff residences, engineering facilities, and much more. While the island is surrounded by the sea, the couple still needed a swimming pool, and I don't blame them. I'm more of a pool over beach girl myself. The pool terrace is only a few steps from the seaside and transitions seamlessly into the indoor spaces. There's stylish outdoor furnishings on the surrounding terrace to hang out and lounge as well. The main residence is located on a high point at the center of the island to give off the best views, while inside it spanned over 6,500 square feet of space with an additional 5,000 square feet of covered patios and open air breezeways branching off to the other structures. The other structures or pods gather around a central courtyard or pavilion and there's also a particular open air living space which Faith loved the most. This area was connecting one of the pavilions to the pool, and Faith said about it, We wanted to feel connected to the outside. When the breeze comes through the room, it's just life-changing. It really is. It's something for the soul. The interiors of the estate matched wonderfully with the clear blue skies and sea outside, such as blue accents in certain rooms. Tim explained they essentially had to build a small town to accommodate all of the staff helping them build the place. So it definitely wasn't without its challenges. While the sprawling property is big enough for an army, there are still romantic corners where Tim and Faith could definitely spend some alone time together. While they started off with that mere shack on the island, these days, the massive eight pavilion estate is connected by thatched roofs, while outside, there's a meticulous tropical landscaping and plenty of palm trees. The couple's home had beach-inspired design throughout it and washed out color palette with accents of color. One of the eight pavilions was ideal for spending time with family and friends, boasting a large wooden dining table, as well as a lowered sofa-style seating area, and shade away from the sun. The property had a total zen feel to it, especially with the airy hallways. There were also beautiful guest quarters with seaside inspired tones and plush furnishings, as well as a kids dorm with bunk beds and two bathrooms. Other spaces included a massive great room, which opened directly to the poolside terrace. 
Tim and Faith's former master suite here may have been the main attraction, as it could completely open on one wall, allowing you to fall asleep to the waves crashing. Reportedly, they also had a freestanding bathtub here on the private porch. That tropical paradise wasn't the only impressive compound Faith and Tim previously owned. While they also recently sold this property for a reported $15 million, they purchased it back in 2001 from country music legend Hank Williams, and it spanned 753 acres of land with four structures. Well, there were four main residences and apparently other smaller buildings for staff and friends to stay all of which was located in Franklin, Tennessee. The HGW Mayberry House, also known as Beechwood Hall, was a historic plantation house on the property built in 1856, which was completely impressive from exterior views. The couple didn't end up renovating this main house, perhaps because it was registered as a historic place, and instead, they set their sights on other structures. One of the buildings on the property had a gorgeous vintage ballroom with spiral staircase and chandelier. Only one of the many magical spaces here. There was a renovated barn with 12 functional horse stalls, and if you wanted to, one could saddle up and never have to leave the property for your ride, considering it was so large. Then another structure was a small bungalow, one of two guest houses on Faith and Tim's Franklin estate, which came fully equipped. The couple spent most of their time living here in the 3,300 square foot log cabin, which was built in the 1800s as well and was also registered as a historic place. Faith and Tim decided to restore this building, named Samuel Morton House, and the stunning home boasted double height columns and high ceilings. The renovated space had a beautiful porch out back, complete with rocking chairs, which looked perfect to relax, while inside the design was stylish yet relaxed. This home offered five bedrooms and features like a grand living room with an open plan layout. Here, there were walls of windows, vaulted ceilings, and a chic look. There were also French doors opening out to the garden, and elsewhere, a spacious and peaceful sunroom. The brand new kitchen they installed had a country vibe, yet it was modern and functional, with light furnishings and bright painted wood to complement the log style of the home. In the main historic home on the estate, which Faith and Tim didn't renovate, there was a lot of wood paneling and grand rooms inside, so it may have been hard to maintain. One massive living room here offered a fireplace and single glazed windows, which would be sure to get very cold in the winter. Also in Beechwood Hall, there were many classic period features, such as the double height room, which was fully decked out in intricate wood. Here, there was another fireplace too. The massive property offered many pastures, orchards, a private stream, and more, which would have been a lot of work to take care of. While the couple owned it for over a decade, they ultimately decided to let it go. Before I fill you in on where Tim and Faith are currently calling home, let's briefly look at another Tennessee property they once owned. This abode is yet another example of the pair's great taste in real estate, and they bought this one way back in 2004. Located in the upscale and posh neighborhood of Bell Mead in Nashville, this estate dated back to 1934, but had been renovated since. The 11.6 acre property was estimated to be worth $2.4 million at that time, which is likely around the price they paid for it. This grandly designed home offered up five bedrooms and 11 bathrooms within a massive 9,900 square feet of space. The front of the mansion was already gorgeous with double height columns and a rooftop terrace overlooking the woods. While walking in, there was a classic curved staircase and soaring ceilings. Throughout the estate, there were many features that resembled the 1930s era of the home and the vintage decor was combined with more modern comforts. Other luxury amenities included a gourmet kitchen with updated appliances, which opened to one of the family rooms and an upscale 4K home theater. Elsewhere on the property, there were separate staff and guest quarters, as well as a bonus pool house with full loft and extra bedroom. Out back, within all of the perfectly manicured gardens, there was also a large swimming pool and plenty of terraces. It's said that Faith and Tim listed this mega home in 2009 after they started building their current estate from scratch. This house most recently sold in 2013 for $2.8 million. Unlike those homes we just checked out, Tim and Faith's current estate has been kept largely private. We know the couple have built their dream home from the ground up, 
and it's also located in the Nashville area, but details are slim. Records do show that their home is gigantic, spanning 22,460 square feet of space with five beds and 10 bathrooms throughout. And with that much space, we can see why the pair may have offloaded their other properties. On social media, they've shared some peeks into the estate, like when Faith posted a tribute to Tim on Instagram and she transformed the living room of their home. She placed sparkling lights on the floor and set the space up for them to enjoy a romantic dance. We could see floor to ceiling windows and paneled walls in the background too. Also at Christmas time, fans were able to see the insane double height great room, which had windows from floor to ceiling to match along with wood beams. The Christmas tree being decorated was absolutely massive, spanning nearly the entire height of the room, and really just put the size of the mansion in perspective. All right, now we've checked out the impressive real estate portfolio of country superstars Faith Hill and Tim McGraw, and it was a lot. While it seems they've recently sold a couple of their major properties, their current custom 22,000 square foot Nashville mansion would be enough to keep any family happy. Out of their historic Tennessee estate, their private island in the Bahamas, and their former Nashville home, which did you like best? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!